Hello YouTube, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to transfer Xbox 360 data the easiest way. Um, so the reason I'm making this video is for the last two days I've been trying to basically get all the data off my 250 gig hard drive and uh, transfer it to a one terabyte hard drive because I've been running on space and it's been driving me crazy because Explorer 360 just does not work. I even tried virtual machining XP and Windows 7 things, that was the issue and it still crashes when you try to uh, transfer like huge files. So this is a video really uh, on how to basically get files off of the Xbox and then re-upload them onto uh, the new drive. And basically all you're going to need is this one software right here as uh, Fat Explorer and it's the beta version. I I'm pretty sure what happened was they were in beta back in the day and then they just never finished it. But um, so what you got to do is just download it and open it once you plug in the Xbox hard drive to the computer, obviously. So once the internal Xbox hard drive is plugged into the computer, you're going to go to devices and you're going to click on the hard drive. Then you're going to do read only if you're, uh, since you're transferring the data off the hard drive, just so nothing gets corrupted. It wouldn't anyway, but it's just to be safe in case something happens, you know, with the computer. But you do initialize drive and you find the content partition. You can ignore all the other ones. Um, so all the other partitions will be made when you take that new hard drive and put it in your Xbox and format it. So before you can transfer any of your data to the new drive, you're going to have to plug it into the new drive into the Xbox first and uh, format it in the Xbox settings and storage. And then you'll see a bunch of these partitions already made. But all, you, all these partitions will be made by the Xbox, so you don't have to copy anything from there. All you have to do is get this content partition and then... Uh, list the drive whatever drive you want it to be as and then you click mount and as you can see it'll open up this and it basically makes it a hard drive it opens up as a hard drive in your computer so all you need to do is basically just copy all these files to a folder on your desktop and then once that's done it's going to take a while like about an hour it took me about an hour about 232 gigabytes and once that's done all you're going to do is you're going to format the new hard drive in the xbox and then you're going to plug it into the computer and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to you're going to click this again, but this time don't check don't leave this off because you're going to be putting stuff on the new drive and then click initialize drive and if you formatted it properly, you'll see a bunch of these partitions again. You'll see a content partition. All you have to do is click on the content partition, mount it again, and then just drag the files that you just copied from the old drive back in here and then you're all set. Um, this is basically the best way to do it. Um, Explorer 360 works when you're just trying to like put in like certain files, like say you have like a mod venue on an RGH, like it'll work. But when you have a bunch of files or a full game, it always lags out and or it just gets stuck in a boot loop. And I haven't even tried going to Windows 7 and XP, like I said, and it doesn't work. So this is the best way to do it, guys. And once that transfer is done, you can just plug it into your Xbox and it'll basically be like the same drive, just bigger. Um, all your INI files, if you have RGH, should load normally because they're all saved and if you got all the files properly, then uh, maybe all you'll have to do is open up Dash Launch and put in your plugins again, but that's basically the worst. And then once that's done, uh, you should be all set, guys. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe or like, I really don't care. This is just to help you guys out, but have a nice day, guys. See you next time.